I should have asked her if any of them have died. I, I want to, but it's a delicate question. Expecting the camera to be on already. No, especially not <laughs> such a rush today. I know. So let's just take a look at this bunny. Okay, cool. Let me put this side down. So why don't you explain what's going on with Oscar? Uh, he's in a situation where he's with a lot of unneutered males altogether. Basically, it's a hoarding situation. I mean, she doesn't consider herself a hoarder because she most loves the bunnies. Hoard, most but, hoarders don't consider themselves hoarders. Right. Most hoarders, hoarders don't. And uh, she's, she's a sweet person. She has a good heart, but she has no idea about bunnies, uh, how to feed them, how to care for them, how to keep them safe. Um, but uh, she does feed them, she just doesn't feed them incorrectly. Where, uh, where, where are they living right now? They're living in her backyard, and she just has a sort of a not even a half shed, but a, a, a covered sort of shed area with open sides and she's um, chicken wired it shut and they still got out so she had to really chicken wire it so she can't even get in um, to get them and the food is just thrown in and the water's thrown in, uh, put in in big bowls and um, otherwise they're just in there on their so own. So these are all bite marks. All the males have started fighting and it looks like um, Looks like Oscar was very uh, badly injured. You can see on this side, this is a huge bite. These are just bites and fights with other bunnies. His back end is actually abscessed and it goes all the way down here. And uh, his feet are just filthy. And I mean, I'll, this is him cleaned up and already. And his eye? His eye was torn up in here on uh, that side more, but the other side was also um, gotten a little bit, but that was the worst. And then the ear is in three parts now. Oh um, my god! Really badly injured and ear mites and just, uh, there's just nothing right. And this is after he's been groomed and washed and... Um, so who, how did you find out about this situation? Um, the girl actually called me and um, uh, she had gotten into a situation from two bunnies to 60 and she just didn't know what to do. She couldn't even tell the different sexes apart. And so she... Um, she uh, got a hold of me somehow. Somebody gave her my name and she called me and I said, well, you know, I'm gonna try to help you, but we have to separate the bunnies. So uh, I, about a year ago, we separated all the girls from the boys and they, there have been no more babies, um, but there's no money to spay and neuter these guys. And so the boys um, are now, you know, trying to vie for dominance and she just doesn't have enough space to keep them all as individual bunnies, so, so they're together. Um, we're trying to get them spayed and neutered, but I think we've done nine in a year because it's expensive. They all need medical treatment. They need ear mite. Um, they need revolution for the mites. Um, and it's a f per bunny, it's um, $50 just for the revolution. And that's on sale when I can get it. And um, I can get spays and neuters for $100 each, which is a great price. Can't usually find it for $100, but I have one vet here that uh, is working with me at $100 a piece, but with 60, that adds up. Yeah. So we have not had the funds to do it. And um, I have my own rescue to take care of too. So right. we're trying to get some help to help her get these bunnies fixed and find them homes. She's willing to keep them till we find them homes. Um, so. Uh, if we can help out the situation, we'd be really helping these bunnies. Right. They're very sweet bunnies, good-natured bunnies. Because if we just take them to the shelter, they're going to get euthanized, They'll right? get euthanized. And there is no shelter in L.A. that can take 60 rabbits. Right, there's no space. There's no uh, such space. So the, now, so the but... other solution is to get them all fixed and try to actively adopt them out. That's what we want to try. Right. Okay, so... I guess let's go check out this place. Let's go, yeah. Okay. Off we go.
tarp is. I see one in the grocery cart over there. Oh, there's one in a grocery. These two are doing great. Healed yeah. super well. I didn't bring the boys yet because they're still a little swollen. Wow. So this is the these are the Holy boys. Cow. And the girls are back in behind the, the fix. Oh wow. It's, uh, it smells pretty bad. Oh my god, there's a bunny with an infection. Because you said greenhouse, yeah. that's just no in the um in the property. It's also and a oh my God, they're living in shopping carts. Oh, poor baby, so scared. Right. Oh, there's more. So these are the unfixed girls, unfixed boys, and then we have fixed girls. This one is already. Here. So these are the two from last time? So yeah. Okay. So these are both girls too. Yeah. yeah. I just can't believe how many rabbits are here. There's 60 rabbits. What is it? Insane. 17 and 13 is 17. Um Do you want me to take the camera down there? So you can walk in that bottom way. So do they get veggies at all? No, not not a lot. Like once a week or every once, once in a while. So no, no veggies. Okay. Um, so they're only on an alfalfa hay diet. Yes. No veggies. But Is so it, why, why aren't you able to get them vegetables? Uh, it would be another expense. Okay. All right. On the other side of that wall are the spayed females. No, these are also boys. These are also boys. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know if there was a way oh, from here, like under there, that would go under to there. Under all here, I had to put wood. Oh, okay. Because um, the last litter that came was because they went under. Underneath. Okay. Underneath. Okay. Okay. So there's wood. Okay. To put. Now there's wood. Okay. Um, which is why I put the the fixed females on this yeah. side. Okay. Yeah. Only just any of the mix like the one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That got out. I was gonna say when I came back from my trip, my friend Liz. This is one of my helpers who killed Flora because my friend. But, um, this is one of my helpers at home, and she said she would be willing. So can I ask how this did it start off with oh, you yeah, just she got to kind of hear your yeah story. oh yeah it, they just started with two uh -huh. and then so now so then they I had them all together in one place and then I separated them uh -huh. but they would make holes under mm -hmm. so then by the time I would see there was a male there there was already like four of them pregnant and so in like one year. Um, and I mean, they have multiple ones, you know, at once. So in one year, they like, they, they just multiply. You know, I just want to like understand mm -hmm. like how it got to this point, because this is like not normal. Mm -hmm. And I think like it's important to recognize that. I just um, didn't fix the problem in the beginning. I didn't right. Fix so like female. after they had the first litter, how come you didn't do anything about it that time? The first time around um i just i don't know i just didn't fix them i didn't think it was gonna get bad but by the time i had already separated them because mm -hmm. i had the boys on that side mm -hmm. um like uh, there's nothing right now on the other side but that's yeah. where i had the males and i mean i'm not here all the time so then yeah. i would come and feed them and notice there was a male with the girls uh -huh. but usually the girls so would do go you under. want to control the situation now yes because it's out of control which is why i've been getting in touch with her i think and this is about a year. so what is your ultimate goal because you know trying to get 60 bunnies mm -hmm. into good homes is going to be a lot mm -hmm. of work well the first goal was to stop uh -huh. from them you know reproduce to keep reproducing so that's why i i completely put them the males here um and then like my second goal would be finding homes so you you know some of these bunnies have health issues too yeah. right mm -hmm. 
Vicky, what do you do you know what's going on with their eyes? Like some of their eyes look infected with something or is that are those from bites or well, what? Well, um it could be that it could be from from fighting. Um, it, it could be from scratches, not, not necessarily a bunny biting the eye area, but maybe, you know, boxing and scratching. So they're going to need other treatment besides getting spayed and neutered. And they're still fighting for dominance. Mm -hmm. So is there a reason they're getting alfalfa hay and not Timothy? Um, I don't have money to afford the other one. Um, I was fig I was feeding them uh, half grass, half alfalfa. Uh-huh. But at the store where I get it, they they don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. So then this is my first. I was telling her that they didn't have that, so I just took off alfalfa. Over How the much other is one. the alfalfa that you buy? The uh, this one is nineteen per bell. Um, and then the other one I think is the one that I need to get them is like twenty seven. Yeah, the Timmy's so, usually about 30. Get just get oats, oats. It's, right? It's a little bit more than alfalfa, but it's not close to being as much as Timmy. And it's just as good. Okay. Yeah. I just fear that this is too much calcium for, for them. Yeah, this them. is the and first time feeding them this. So that bunny that's at Vicky's house that's severely injured mm -hmm. and is in a lot of pain and had its ears bitten off, that rabbit can never come back here. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah. That rabbit is scarred for life. He's the only one since he was smaller. He would, like those ears things have been since he was little. So I don't know if... So if, he's been getting attacked since he was a baby? Yeah. And I and actually... You, nev you never thought to pull him out of that I situation? did. I did pull him out. Um, but then I would try to put him back and then it just wouldn't work and I would take him out again. I kept him out. I've tried to cure his, you know, his injuries, but like nothing changes. And then I kept him here by himself and then... Eventually, he found a way to open this and got over here again. A lot of people would be very concerned. If you notice that happening at all, ever, you need to pull them right away because the, the fights can get deadly with these guys. They've got teeth. They can rip out each other's eyes. Does your dog uh, live out here? No, we, oh, okay. we keep her inside. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that needs a lot of work, but I can see why you didn't want to report her because I feel like she's she just, realized how bad it's gotten, yeah. but like, she it's just, doesn't it's have just the so, money. well, she doesn't have the money and she doesn't know where to start. Right, right. She just has no clue. Right. Those bunnies are not in good shape. No. That diet is... The diet is... is is awful for those bunnies and it we don't know what it's doing to them but if we can get them on a better diet it will help immediately it will change uh, immediately it's just like people you know you go you 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 you're getting diabetes but if you go on the right diet you can actually avoid the diabetes we can help them to avoid illnesses by getting them the correct food yeah let's let's give her that hay okay. let's give her that hay so this is oat hay right this is oat, yeah. just found um, a bag of oat in my car Oh, so I'm just going to leave it for you. Okay. Mix it with the alfalfa until you can get oat. Okay, that way okay. they get used to it. Yeah, because yeah, last time, nice. this it's is good. what I got them and they didn't eat it. I know. Because the, they're the, so used you to gotta it. you got to leave yeah. it in there whether they want it or not. Yeah, that's okay. the only way they're going to eat, eat it. They'll eat it if they're hungry. Just okay. like us. If you don't have nothing else, you eat what you get, right? It's like, it's like feeding candy to a kid and then telling them, now you have to start eating your vegetables. It's like, no. They don't yeah, want to do it. They're not going to transition and, and that quickly. And the very, very dangerous thing with bunnies is you you give them food that they don't like and they don't eat it. Bunnies not eating means death. They yeah. 24 hours without food, you know, they, they, they can die. So you can't I'm really... surprised that they haven't gone into stasis or maybe she hasn't told you that yeah. some of them have died. Well, and that's a possibility. They're so fragile that they can be gone overnight sometimes. Yeah. So, I should have asked her if any of them have died. I, I want to, but I, it's a delicate question. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, I will try to fit that in at some point. Maybe when we're fixing up and cleaning up the place, and yeah. uh, maybe that I can say that. Hey, did any of them die? And do you know what they died of? Was it out of injury? Was it out of uh, illness? Was it out of heart attack because of a fear? You know, what do you think happened if any of them died? That would be a good question. Yeah. Okay. All right, Vicky. All right. So a lot of work to do. Thanks so but much I'll for do, coming out. Yeah.